We're also playing easy mode because, uh, well, it makes it easier. And three, two, one, go. Начинаем на easy mode. Yeah. So right off the bat, this game doesn't have any like uh, crazy movement tech or anything. So we're doing a lot of damage boosts, just can't move around. And you see what you see the thing in bottom right corner called a support jump there. That's the main uh, quirk of the support mode. Essentially, what it does allows me to do uh, this right here, which you're not supposed to be able to do. <laughs> that, that that big jump there is uh, it's very wild. It's supposed to be a two-player feature, but yeah. Stop. Погодите. Может я вас запутал? Это не ремейк. Uh, we're actually in Bullet Tire right here, by the way. Fun fact. Uh, he's currently building it in order to uh, uh, meet the girl of his dreams, uh, the, the diva Le Lefai, who is the uh, plot main, main character. Сейчас. Угадай, какая версия указана минуту. Я сейчас может вас запутаю. Не, 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 не. Все, все, все в порядке, все в порядке. That's that's the whole like plot of it. We're supposed to be saving her. She crashes her like plane in like the opening cutscene of the game. Мы играем в ремейкнутую версию, все хорошо. Все хорошо. В общем-то, это 3D сайт-скроллер. Про вот такого вот мехового кота. На деле очень хорошо реализовано, крайне интересно. Платформинг довольно приятный, и поначалу мы проходим игру практически казуально. Surely, surely. Here's twenty-five dollars from you, from Thorgy, who says. Небольшая секция автоскрола на тележке. As I hammer away at a deadline, thanks for everything you do and for making this week go from a lot of boring long work to laughs and excitement. Absolutely. SQ's been great the whole time. Yeah. Anytime my clone goes wahoo, by the way, like by by all means, uh, crap. If you want a wahoo, that's fine. <laughs> it happens a lot, by the way. So uh, at your own discretion. <laughs> but yeah, just forgot to point that one out. Wahoo button, so please. And someone wants to be crazy enough to donate one dollar for every wahoo, go for it. Well. <laughs> oh no, God, that rest. I don't know if I'd recommend that. <laughs> Well, I mean, I would recommend it, but it's for charity. If you, if, you, for charity. if you can afford it. If everyone in chat donates one dollar for every Wahoo, we'll be at like one million by the end of the run. Okay, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, there's a little skip right there. It goes around instead of going around the bend there, you just like go up there with a support jump and also a uh, a regular jump. And then here's Rongolingo, the first boss of the game. We meet Joker here. He's going to jump on top of that bell. Uh, he's one. He's kind of the lackey of the main villain of the game, uh, Gadius, who we also meet during cutscene that skip there. Первый босс, кстати, имеет такую интересную механику. Мы должны ему в спину накидывать вот этих вот маленьких созданий меховых. У него как бы от этого подрывает, ты, пожалуйста, первый босс в игре побежден. But a lot of time, but floating is like kind of slow. So a lot of time I try, I try to avoid it when I can. Sometimes I can't, and that that's totally fine. But yeah. So Moran is very stable, but in him there are many such moments where you can fall and fall. Very close to the edge of the cliff, the cliff is very difficult to climb because it looks not as simple, but on the whole it is very thin and thin platforming. Платформеры сами по себе довольно сложные, особенно когда вы их пытаетесь пробежать быстро, они еще сложнее становятся. Um, but neither of those games had support mode in um, Daughter Phantom Isle. Support mode was originally in Klonoa 2, and when they made this remake, they added support mode to this game. So this version is quite unique uh, with having support mode, and it's meant that speedrunners have had so many new opportunities to, to do stuff with the game. Yeah, support mode is what that really just made me uh, want to even run this in the first place. It's Beyond so this, it being just an incredible <laughs> playing video game in the first place. This game is very story-based, but I'm, I'm choosing not to actually go over a lot of the story because 
Well, you should play it for yourself. It's very, very good. I want to, I want to spoil it for you. Сейчас Ранер говорит, что игра очень сильно завязана на истории, но он не будет рассказывать ничего, потому что игра очень, очень хорошая, и он рекомендует ее пройти. Ну, действительно, так и есть. Она довольно таки дружелюбная. Вот именно дружелюбная. Вот здесь вот э, он отмечает, что обе игры идут в одном паке ремейку, так что внимание она стоит. Вот здесь вот небольшой шорткат. Если что, он пока что никак не гличил особо. Использовал только момент игры. Вода, кстати, очень хорошая вещь для спидрана, потому что дает очень большой... Очень большое ускорение. Вот, я пытался вспомнить русское слово для ускорения. Да, была оригинальная, прикольная, причем оригинальная, клевая такая. Но вот большинство вообще они никогда не слышали, так и есть. Она почему-то не стала культовой, хотя как платформер она хорошая. В общем-то, мы хватаем вот этих вот э, шипованных... Э, ну как шипованных? Вот этого мини-босса, который катается на этом боссе, чтобы взять и кинуть его в этого босса, который сидит в воде. Ой, задели... Ну ничего страшного. В общем-то, мы стоим прямо по центру, потому что здесь эти шипованные шары нас не трогают, нам не надо ничего перепрыгивать. Ну вот, собственно, вопрос. Возможно, персонаж не тот, время выхода не то. Но почему-то именно вот совсем культовый, чтобы все, по крайней мере, слышали. Нет, это, к сожалению, не про нее. Хотя платформер хороший. Вот сейчас вот хватаем врага и... Делаем небольшой скип. Cool. 
В основном, кстати, наш... Как его зовут? Клона? Я вот не хочу ошибиться с именем персонажа. В общем-то... Вот клона, по-моему, правильнее будет всего назвать персонажа, вот прямой перевод. В общем-то, его основная атака заключается в том, что он как бы хватает врага, с помощью такого вот предмета, который называется кольцо ветра. И вот с помощью вот этого вот колечка он как бы врагов подтягивает и может кидать их. И при этом мы можем их не только кидать, но и использовать их для двойного прыжка в воздухе. Поэтому мы периодически их хватаем, чтобы сделать этот двойной прыжок. После этой игры будет 6 Да, в 6 Ну вот, в общем-то, в донатах появляются фанаты игры, которые вспоминают, насколько она им нравилась. В общем-то, стабильный платформе, в котором практически ничего не происходит по скипам пока что. В оригинальной версии, кстати, есть чуть больше оптимизации скипов, потому что там больше выходов в затик... Ну, в ОБ буквально, там есть интересные скипы такие. Возможно, кстати, часть из них сохранилась на ране, просто их немного по-другому исполняют, потому что на релизе, когда я смотрел, ее ранили, можно сказать, глищнос. Так что... 
Um, I've got ooh, a very unique word for you here. I ooh. have two hundred and fifty dollars. Was nice, nice. Yeah. In from anonymous, who says, "What? What? Hey!" Anonymous, like that phrase. I did a double wahoo right there too. He goes like, "What? What? Нормально. Хороший комментарий. So we get the key here that Joker gives us so in order to go into this room here that they, they locked off. And now we just uh, uh, make the whole area just move again. I do a little jump here so I can just kind of oh, move melee. I say as I fill it twice, but don't worry about it. One, it's one of those uh, frame saving things. It allows you just move like really fast again to get damage boots there, but it's not it's no big deal. And now here's where we do the big skip here. Instead of going all the way back to that one room I pointed out earlier, we're just going to do this. And we just skipped all that. Okay. <laughs> We're not done yet. We have to do this right here. Got it. Nice. nice. And we do one more support trip up here to skip going all the way around the spiraling room again. Just uh, right here. No big deal. Then we do one last support trip here in a second. Just gonna mash the input. No problem. And that saves maybe. That maybe saves time. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this is Gelg Bulm. Uh The sage of the forest area gar uh, of the forest area here is right back there, currently uh, tied up trying to save them. They're referred to as Granny in the game. We do have a grandpa that's also a major character in the game. Not sure if they're related at all, but I, I presume so. So yeah, the whole the whole idea here is we need a support ship to hit them immediately as soon as they start moving. I know when it's when to hit them because the camera will start moving uh, towards Gil Bulm again. And yeah, that move got away from me there. So we're gonna lose a little time on this, this one here, but that's okay. I hit them to the right as well, which is good. If I'm on the on, on the right side of them, they go to the left of, of, the, of the entire arena, which I don't want personally. Yeah, it's too close there. That's fine. No big deal. We'll get this real fast and do another wahoo into another wahoo. True combo. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Wahoo. Very, very good. That was a really good fight because there can be an attack where he jumps up and it wastes a bunch of time, but you skip that by hitting him a bit early there. So good job. Thank you. Yeah, support him just completing the gates of that entire attack, which is really nice. Now, one of my favorite levels here is 4-1. The support trip at the very end of this level is what uh, really made me want to actually run this game. So, uh, yeah. We're going to do a support trip right here, though, to get up there a little early. And then while the support trip is, is currently charging, we're just going to get right there and go right there. We're also going to do a double jump. Then we're going to do a little bit of a platform, in which there are no skips. So we're going to do another one. 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 Also, the music in this level is very different. It's a bit weird, but very, very nice. I like it. <laughs> yeah, because like in the plot of the game, like Clone is going back to uh, his his town right now, and like he's, he doesn't know what's happening there. But like it might be being threatened by uh, by Gadius. So yeah, <laughs> that's what's going on here. And this room is actually the last room in the entire level, but it's very, 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 very big. I didn't get injured. That's fine. So we're, we have to go all the way to the right, eventually back over to the left again. That's that's the whole idea of this. However, there's one giant skip at the end of this that is very cool. The idea for that is I'm going to support jump up to where I need to be, and then just support, and then like just kind of stall myself there for a little bit to get to, for support jump to charge again, and then support jump again up there and like skip like 30 seconds of movement or something. Hopefully, I get a first try. It's gonna happen right here. It is one of the harder tricks in the run. Let's see if I get it. That happened really in practice. I don't know why. I just, my input got you in there. I have to forge up a bit here. Let's see if I can do it. Nope. That was a little off there. No big deal. We'll get it right here. No problem. Don't worry about it. Nope. I'm actually a little lower. I need, I need to go a bit higher there, it seems. This pillar is in the way. I hate uh, <laughs> that too. <laughs> Oops, let's try it again. You got it. I feel it was earlier in practice too, which is a little bit of a shame, but we got it right. Oh, no, we got it soon. Soon <laughs> we'll get it. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, I, I grabbed it a little too late there, which is a shame. So we got uh -huh. we'll get uh -huh. it. It's fine. We got it. We got it. Yeah, we do this. Ой, вот сейчас, кстати, довольно-таки сложный трюк, потому что надо дважды схватить. Три, четыре, вот этого должно хватить, все, идеально.
Не совсем то, как предполагали разработчики, но никаких гличей не было использовано. Все честно, мы просто несколько раз схватили врага в воздухе. Ой, не успели на платформу. It's like what got me into wanting to run Planella, to be honest, was that trick. Yeah, same here, actually, for this one. I saw, I saw like, week one runs of this, and, like, people were just doing that. It was so cool. <laughs> There's more uh, water here, but to just hold forward to go a lot faster, so I'll just do that the whole time. I'm gonna grab this Moo right here. Remember earlier we talked about the support jump, doing off of, like, one of these, like, water sections, Moo's be really fast? Uh, same deal here. I'm just gonna match it, and then we just go way across this room, just like that. Then we keep this Moo right here for his puzzle in a second. Or his, his rock here in a second, right? It's not even a puzzle. Just gonna float. Just chillin'. <laughs> While his rock just explodes. Kaboom! <laughs> 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 and a little damage just right there. So there was a part in this room at one point where I would do a support jump after going off the kind of wind lift there. And it would like... Хочу заметить, in-game таймер отличается от реального времени, потому что не учитывает загрузки некоторые заставки. Pretty simple level overall. We're now at the boss here, Belladium, who has one of the best songs of the game, but we're not going to hear a lot of it because it's very, they're very easy for the most part. You just got to dodge their attacks as, as this bridge swings back and forth. And hit these, Сейчас, uh, кстати, босс довольно-таки сложный в какой-то степени, потому что вроде бы надо доджить его атаки, но он может немножко подтроллить. This one's not too bad. I just have to weave in the right time, like that. Вот здесь вот не так и сложно, как говорит Раннер, надо было всего лишь сделать несколько шагов в один момент, но... Ох, как же хорошо, потому что он мог дать более такой неприятный цикл. Так что... И хитбоксы у этих кристалликов, которые бьются намного больше, чем кажется, так что их легче проводить. You can say the funny GQ thing if you want. I can say the orb if you want. It's fine. <laughs> we're getting four orbs here. <laughs> say the thing, crowd. <laughs> oh, crap. Uh, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad support jump exists. Uh, I, I, I'm going for the blue orb first because it looks really cool. And also, it's just... That's what I normally do here. But you went to the red orb door. Yeah, that's the red orb door. Yeah, that's the red orb door. <laughs> it's true. Uh, um, uh, um, uh, <laughs> about that. Uh, so I'm, I'm gonna get this enemy right here and just kind of wait for a bit. I gotta uh, assess the situation, see what's going on here, and, uh... And, uh... Yeah, we're good. Nice. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> First try on that one. This gets me right to the, the, the blue orb door. This is normally where the exit is, so... We go through the through the exit, we enter through there. <laughs> Very cool. I love that skip so much. You can get a little dangerous off that, like, iron chain there as well, too, if you're lucky, but it's very hard to do. That's okay, the rare orb normally. There is a way to get the right orb early, but I used to reset a lot of runs to that trick, and I just don't like doing that, so I, I, I'm not going to go for it here. The idea is that there, uh, one of the walls right where a checkpoint is on the other side of the room, just, like, you can kind of just throw a move through it for some reason. I don't know why, but there's a checkpoint there you can hit, and just let you skip going through this whole area. But I'm going to do it normally here. Outside of one thing, one small little trick... But, uh, essentially if there's like a, a, a like a, a small, like a little ceiling anywhere in this area, and like, in like an area of the game, you can bring a move through it if you move the right way. All you gotta do is just hold like towards the wall, and as soon as you're about to land, uh, face towards the camera or away from the camera, and it'll just work. Just like this right here, we're gonna do it right here. Just like that, you just nice, switch nice. it underneath. It's not a hard trick or anything. You can, it's, it's, it's one of the easier ones. If you wanna try it at home, by all means, should be able to get, like, pretty easily as long as... With my little destination there. 
Yeah, once you oh, understand the inputs, it's easy enough. You know? Yeah. It's not too bad. And now we're, uh, we can probably get one more one donation while we're going to the next area here, too. Sure thing. Here is $21 from Probably Geo, who says... Ooh, let's go, Geo. Run like the wind, Shasta. <laughs> Thank you. Wahoo! <laughs> Четки про Ваху и ветер, которым пользуется клоно. Now I see a yellow orb there. We're gonna go get that, and then do something uh, really cool afterwards. We're gonna set for a nice little sequence break where I'm gonna get the yellow orb and the red and the green orb at the exact same time. That's the idea here. I'm gonna support it up here. Uh, oh, cool! I got the, I got the extra thing there. Perfect. We're gonna we're gonna get that. We're gonna die on purpose and then go for a, a very cool setup. The hard part here is the flow. It's very precise. Let's see if I can get it. Ah, yeah, okay. We'll we'll try. We'll get second try. I should have to die again because my support jump is uh, not fully recharged yet. So we're gonna do that and then just try it again. The way I have to do this is very precise with the checkpoint and everything. But yeah, the hardest part is the flow here. <laughs> oh, what? I, I thought it worked. That was weird. That looked like it was correct, but That's, hey, we'll try it again. It's really hard. It is really hard. <laughs> Thank you, crowd person. <laughs> Yeah. There we go. Yeah. 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 Exactly. That's why it's a support jump. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so the idea is now we're, we're carrying a yellow orb in the section here. We're not supposed to have it. So how's that going to work? You'll, you'll see very soon. Get that guy over here. I'm going to do a little animation cancel in a second here too. It just gets like the cutscene of the door unlocking here. Oops. Get right there. Nice. Just go through the door as the switch is going. Oh, it does not unlock the door I'm about to go through on the right. They're gonna deboost the enemies as well on the way out of here. Oh, I forgot to even say earlier, but easy mode actually adds uh, 15 health for you instead of like like five hearts for normal, I'm pretty sure. And also your your uh, wind ring goes a bit further for the range. Yeah, there's the green orb there. If you, if you saw it very, very closely, the yellow orb kind of floated above the green orb for a second in that last area. But if we go over here and then back in again, it'll just play the cutscene and then we're just good. Just like that. And that's a uh, 5-1, one of the cooler levels in the game. And we are good. Now, 5 2 has one of my favorite mechanics. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, we got this guy here, too. <laughs> Which plays just a song that reminds me of the doorbell in my grandma's house. <laughs> 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 that's, that's, all, that's all I can say about that. <laughs> but yeah, uh, it's, it's, it's almost one of the cooler mechanics that I've probably seen in a platformer, honestly. So there's, there's uh, solar eclipses happening every 15 seconds, according to the plot of the game. And uh, during, the actual, during the nighttime phase of this, uh, the enemies are invincible, so like I have to make sure I can do everything before that happens. And of course, support jump helps me too get across like that when the enemies are invincible and I can't use them as like you know double jumps. Inside here, though, don't have to worry about that. But it's, it's just when it's outside. And during the nighttime, like little platforms will also show up. Yeah, that as well too. There's a lot of really cool things in this level. We'll get to them very soon. Actually, there's one right here which I didn't know about for a while, but for whatever reason. Uh, the four trips can just allow you to just skip the elevator here, just like that. <laughs> Don't know why, you're supposed to have to switch to the left. All right, I'm, I'm going to go for... It's not hard, you don't have to for that, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> this is hard right here, though. Let's see if I can get this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a, this, do a little float. So we're just going to back right now. Then float again, and we skip that entire auto scroll over there. Вот здесь вот пропустили небольшую сек... Ну как? Такую неплохую секцию. Все. Вот здесь оптимизация с тем, что платформа нас подвинула чуть дальше. And one more time, bam, there we go. Nice. Он сейчас сместился немного в двухмерном мире дальше, чем должно было быть, потому что обычным даблджампом это не делается. Мы 
This is good because the third section is pretty long and annoying. Oh, yeah. We go straight to the a boss who is uh, pretty annoying. <laughs> Very annoying. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So there's a lot of puzzles there you gotta do, and, and like, I remember it taking me a while casually, but yeah, we're I just here now. Uh, that is a very long level when you first tackle it casually, so seeing it you know, like this is it's so much faster. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't even want to think about this level when I did it casually the first time. <laughs> it frustrated me a lot. <laughs> fair, fair enough. <laughs> Same here, yeah. All right, here's Joe. Okay, he's a really cool boss fight. It's very, like, 3D and stuff. Uh, hopefully it goes well. He can move uh, faster randomly. I have to avoid his uh, fist that's so going around him. It's not with the moves that I try to, that I try to throw at him. Does he move faster? Nice. I can work with that. We can hit him from the, uh, in the middle like that, no problem. But also, I try to hit him like, from the sides whenever I can. Ooh. Yes, please. Nice. Very good luck. It's lucky what he does there. It's lucky if he goes fast. It's lucky if he jumps in place. It's lucky if he just moves slowly across across the area here. But after a little bit here, the solar eclipse like I like motif of the level happens again. He transforms into this, this giant like thing here. That's gonna hurt us. And we have to just turn these plans over from a. Вот эта вот огромная черепашка, которая превратилась в неприятный босс. Вот почему. Нам надо активировать платформу в один цвет, как вы видите. Ой. В общем-то, урон мы получаем специально. Но смысл в том, что на платформу некоторые надо наступить несколько раз, все зависит от того, какого у них, какой у них базовый цвет. После чего мы можем кидать в него врагов, как только кадры неуязвимости пройдут. Нет, рано. А, он даже не докинул. Ой. Все, отлично. It's not that hard of a fight, but if you make one little small mistake and miss a cycle, you just have to take the extra cycle of shame. Это не самый сложный бой, но из-за того, что пропуск одного цикла заставляет нас заново бегать под платформом, это создает некоторые проблемы. Not just pure, just casually, and like I just absolutely fell in love with it. Same with Kunoda too, which is also in the Fantasy Rebirth series. But today on Steam, all of our consoles. But yeah, <laughs> uh, you see the move squish right there, and then there, uh, the whole idea is we're going to destroy there's four, four crystals throughout the entire level to, to create the path to the next little area there. So there's the red one. You can just do that to get it for whatever reason. And then we're going out to the overworld here. Shouts to dynamic, dynamic music and games. Love that. Hopefully, I can get to the emotional part of the song uh, while we're not out here though. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> but there is a giant skip I'm about to do right now. I just learned it before I came to SGDQ like the day before. It saves a min like oh, about a minute and a half right here. It's ridiculous. So uh I'm supposed to get uh it's supposed to be like red crystal, blue crystal, green crystal, then yellow crystal. But uh let's see if I can do this correctly. Так. О. Все, идеально. Он пропустил один кристалл, просто спустившись вниз. Это, если что, не совсем выход в ОБ, потому что это двухмерная платформа, двухмерно-трехмерный мир, в котором вы перемещаетесь между платформами условными, и можно добраться до одной из платформ вот таким вот образом. And we're about to get the emotional part during the inside phase. That's perfect. Let's go. This one just so well so far. Also, shout out to Neo Legend as well too, who donated earlier, who uh, found that trick and also just taught me it before beforehand. So yeah, shout out to him. Yeah, this part right here. Oh my goodness, this song is so good. <laughs> this, game, this game has just just a, such a fantastic soundtrack to it. You'll hear Baloo's Tower theme later, but it's also my favorite songs of the game. I used to listen to this song on repeat whenever I need to like focus on something. Oh. Oh, oh no. Ooh. Where did I go with? Oh, I think I have to do that trick again, actually, because of that. Yeah. That's Ech. not a mistake I ever make. Не удалось. Благо жизни бесконечные. There's the funny again. We did. <laughs> Alright, we'll just do that trick again. No problem. It's fine. Ну, кстати, это, возможно, одна из причин сложности оригинальной игры была такой не очень доброй к игроку. Here's my cool spear and trick, yeah. Just wahoo up here again. 
Yeah, I guess we just showed that off. We were going to show that all off. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, if we're going to do I think that's a good time. Surely, surely. I have $20 for you from Particular Pikmin, who says, this give the game is giving me the strongest Kirby 64 vibes. Best of luck on the run and the rest of the event. You know, it's funny you say Vibe that. Uh, Kirby. <laughs> I have a lot of Kirby as well, and like it's another game of acute mascots uh, that has like an emotional story sometimes. Like one time spoke English as well. That starts with the letter K. <laughs> it's a very weird coincidence, <laughs> but yeah. Weirdly enough, that's that's <laughs> just how it goes. Yeah, I can give it one more dation real fast. <laughs> sure thing. I have five dollars for you from the one, the only Klonoa, who Ooh. says, "Wah!" And I cannot stress this enough. <laughs> Very good. Oh, oh, that happens sometimes. Don't worry about it. Weird thing with like moving in this game is that as soon as you turn around, uh, you have to, there's, there's, there's a few frames where you can't jump if Klonoa just yet. That's what happened right there. Now with the yellow crystal actually destroyed, we can actually get up to this area, which you think you'd be able to, uh, to uh, just support you up there too, but the yellow crystal has to be destroyed to actually get rid of invisible ceiling here. It blocks us normally. Yeah, so we just do this and then get right up here and skip a little small, uh, just moving around there again. This was the second spot I was referring to earlier for the invisible ceiling that, you know, you would think you could skip, but unfortunately you have to get that gold crystal first. Yeah, yeah we can also hit the level earlier by just doing that too as well. <laughs> also, that, that big egg there you saw, which is kind of like a century egg, it's uh, actually where uh, the Diva Leaf is, which I mentioned at the beginning of the game, the whole, like, plot where she's like kidnapped and everything by, by Gadius. Uh, that's where she's kept right now. You'll see her turn into the final boss of the game later, which I learned because I watched the cutscenes again for this game after like a year of not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this level's really cool. It has also one of my favorite songs of the game and also a massive skip layer, which we'll get to, but well, for now, it's just a lot. It's just the movement. So I guess actually, yeah, now's a good time for uh, another day if you want get, to get, get, get in again. Sure thing. Here's $5 for you from Clark Streams. Let's go, Clark. Who says, hey Shasta, so glad to see you, the famous Pinnaby Wings of Adventure oh, runner. No. <laughs> <laughs> Here, showing off one of the most underrated speed games out there. I'm well, the <laughs> going to learn this game soon, TM. By the way, chat, did you know that Shasta is currently on his journey to beat every Nintendo DS game? It's true. <laughs> Tell him about it, Shasta. There Less are 1,697 Nintendo DS games ever released in North America. I plan to be all of them. Over my stream at twitch.tv slash I'm under Scratchasta. I'm going to play Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney for the first time. I get back to Mesh DQ, by the way. So there you go. And also, Clone Wii. I got that from a shop around here, too. But yeah. But yeah, here's the first little uh, puzzle area of this, of this uh, level here. You go over here, get this guy right here. Bam, bam, wahoo, bam. We're good. Yeah, support, support jump trivializes a lot of these puzzles. Yeah. I'm not going to complain. <laughs> I know World Record also goes for a death warp here, funnily enough, with 15 hearts and all that. Uh, I don't know how much it saves, but it's very risky, except for us don't go for it. But yeah, we're going back now to the second door. This level is kind of rinse and repeat for a lot of stuff in, the, in, in it. But however, uh, plot twist, we're about to skip two thirds of this level by doing the uh, cool support jump up to a very cool spot. So, uh, what enemies respawn as soon as they get destroyed on the ground here, in this case on this very tiny platform. So I can just use this guy to respawn, do this. I think I'm a little low. This will get it. Yeah, it's a little low. I went actually went past where I need to be. Let's try it again. No big deal. One more time for the fans. I got this. I think that's it. Yeah, we're good. Nice. There we go. Yes. So. <laughs> Goes right to the fire of, the, of this entire area. And now you Prekrasne skip. This is Gadius, the main villain of the game here. He's like the, the Dark Sage, there's a Light Sage and a Dark Sage. He's like the evil one and like makes a lot of nightmares and stuff. So people don't like him for that because this whole area is about like good dreams and everything. That's that's the whole, like, kind of the whole plot of the game and all that. But uh, yeah, this boss is a two cycle here that's very hard and pretty luck based too with where the moves spawn at the beginning. So hopefully I can get this. Oh, okay, we got set up at least for the first oh. phase. The second phase is the harder one. Recently, uh, some of the move patterns have been kind of weird to me late here. I don't know why, because I thought it was consistent for a while. But hopefully this goes well. The idea is I'm going to use the fortune twice, get two moves early, and hopefully get the last five bits I need to beat this boss. It's very hard. I don't usually get this in runs. It should, I don't count on it at least, but yeah. Just two hits. 
There's one over here. Hopefully the move goes in a good spot. It's chess. Not a good spot. I'm gonna actually delay this just a little. Oh no, you're doing this. That's cool. Never mind. <laughs> I, I, yeah, we're getting the third phase then. I don't know why sometimes like the moves go all the way up there and just like bounce across way above me. Usually it's supposed to bounce like right next to me. I don't know why, but yeah, it's okay. It went, we're one hit away there from circumstance really. He was trying to show not of all like different phases oh, of the boss. Nice. I guess so, yeah. But it's one more hit. There it is. Mm -hmm. Not bad, still not bad. Oh yeah, a little fun fact for those who want to pick up this game this year and after seeing this. Uh, this game goes by in-game time, so it doesn't matter what console you go you, you play this on, uh, you can still submit just IGT for it. In-game time is just very good in this game. So yeah, it's very accessible in that regard. But here's the final boss here, Naha Tomb. Uh, the Diva Levi is who, who has a song that can provide the world all that. Uh, she got turned to this, uh, uh, the giant creature here by, by the evil, uh, the evil master in the game, Agadius. So we got we got to defeat defeat her, turn her back basically. And all the people, all the sages of the game that we, that we saved throughout the whole thing, oh, they're right here. Oh, they're uh, moon cans, they call them actually. Funnily enough. Uh, to to just help us out with defeating them, we have to hit them with a moo in order to uh, prep the cannon, and then once we do all five of those, uh, they'll shoot off and they'll be phase one of the entire fights. And now the SpongeBob blomp sound plays and removes his tongue, so we're just gonna <laughs> wait here while he just laughs at us for no reason. It's very it's very rude. Please, why, why did you do this? Come on, no. <laughs> oh, you boss, dude. Hey, does it twice. Неприятный well. цикл. Why? Он насмехается над нашим раном. But yeah, let me spawn on the back of him too, so I just kind of do this. I have to wait there for a bit the, at that one spot. And move right here, and shabam, that's phase one. They're just fire up right now. Very good. That can, that can lose a lot of time for getting, like, thank you, thank you. <laughs> that can lose a lot of time there for getting, like, eaten by the tongue, for instance. Or if, like, the tongue attacks start happening while the fifth uh, character gets, gets hit by the cannon there. Like, it's by Moo, rather, but yeah. Thankfully, that went very well, though. Oh, here's phase two. Uh, <laughs> this is happening. We got eaten, we got eaten by, by them, so we're just gonna have to hit these rocks in order to actually get through this. I hit the wrong one first. We're gonna have to actually wait a whole cycle of this now. Oops, my bad. <laughs> I wasn't thinking. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, we're just gonna have to wait for us to get down here. Uh, bam. There we go. And now there's two rocks going to appear here. It's going to go in the same path every single time, thankfully. Just like that. And then one's going to spawn right here. And I'm just going to just... I have a support trip for this one. Just do that. There we go. Oh. Nice. Then we have support trip there. <laughs> <laughs> there's phase two. Phase three is right here. It's very, very cool as well. I want to say that now the game timer doesn't go because it doesn't consider the stuffs and all the moments where... Клону теряют управление, ну не может ходить или вводить какие-то импуты. Yeah, uh, I mean, spawn opposite from me like after a little bit here. We're just gonna double jump into the gaps here when the when these cans fly by. I learned from Watch World Record, uh, always go to the right here, never to the left. So that's what I'll be doing here. I used to go to the left here sometimes, bad idea. Never would not, would not recommend it if you want to go fast. There we go. Just like, see, they all just line up here whenever I get to go over there on the, on, like, going to the right. They don't, they don't line up at all if you go to the left. That's all I'm saying. Oh, I keep getting hit by, by his enemy, though. How dare you? They're invincible, they're invincible move there. They have to get hit by uh, some attack from uh, not a team here to actually be vulnerable and I can pick them up, but that's not going to happen in this phase. And bam. See, they all, they all line up, it's like I said. Oh. Thank you for having a support jump here in case I do fall into one of those gaps. Thank goodness for that. Time's not... about to come up. Oh yeah, time very soon. As soon as uh, the last hit Скоро, happens... Скоро, кстати, будет время, как только... So, right here, Boss wait упадет. For it, wait for it. And time. Всё, время. 34-25 по... ИГТ. Очень даже неплохо. That was like неплохо. Like, everything was like 4-1, honestly. Like, everything was pretty well overall. <laughs> Oh, I forgot to explain Hupo. Uh, he's our friend. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good he's, way of he's putting our, it. He's our friend. This cutscene made me cry. We'll skip it. Yeah, don't want to have any spoilers for anyone who hasn't played. <laughs> yeah, please play, please play this game. It might be one of your favorite games ever, and you don't know it yet. Legitimately. It's really damn good. It's really, really good. Same with Clone 2, which also get in the fans for every series. But yeah, we're, go we're going to do the lead in 7 now, but Lewis... Where? In the EGT 28 minutes? ...the unlocks after we beat the game for the first time. So we're going to do that. 
I guess while the credits are going here, because I can't actually skip these, unfortunately enough, with my controller set up, let's get some shoutouts in. So, shoutouts to the community of this game for being just very, very helpful and just very kind and everything. They're very good. I went to, I, I joined them last year because of this game here, because of this run, and they've been nothing but helpful. Shoutouts to Bobby Kaze, Neil Legend, Amoser, uh, Neko as well, who's uh, currently commentating for a Japanese restream. Shouts to all of them, all the whole rest of the community as well, too. Uh, Balnior as well, it's another person. And Cabasco. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> uh, uh, five minutes, yeah. So we're just gonna go into my, uh, not 100% files, it's very close to 100%, but I got all the, like, the, uh, these, I uh, kind of citizens of the, of the whole land here on this file. And we're going to what's called the Final Vision. The plot of this is that... Oh, that's the Final, that's the final Boss. Oh, no, that's... that's the, I'm going to the Extra Vision. Uh. Okay, we can All right, do, do the Final Boss, let's go! <laughs> <laughs> nah, okay. That's not the title world map, there we go. <laughs> that's okay. The world map movement in this game is a bit weird. Oh, my pen didn't save, that's weird. Well, whatever, I'll be right here, it's fine. But yeah, so the whole, the whole, okay, so I'll start as soon as we move here. But the whole plot of, 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 this, of this whole uh, extra vision is that Blue's tower is finally finished. He was building in the first level, he went through it earlier. Uh, Blue has a giant crush on the, on the Diva Levi's, and that's why he built the tower, so they can go uh, straight up to the Moon Kingdom where she lives. <laughs> Which, uh, sure, why not? <laughs> have you ever built a tower for the one you love? <laughs> sure, <laughs> maybe you have out there. Let me know. <laughs> but yeah, that's, 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 that's the whole plot of this. It has one of the best songs in the game, so get your jams out in the chat, get your best dancing notes out here. It's so good. I'll be jamming the whole time. <laughs> yeah, it's, all, it's just a big challenge level at the end of the day, and it's gonna start right now. Let's go. Let's do it. There's some support jump skips we'll be doing here occasionally too. I accidentally used it right there. I was not supposed to, but that's okay. We'll just wait there for a second. I'll just use it right here instead, no big deal. So good. This is normal scene that plays just a little bit during the first level, but you don't really hear it during the run. Let me skip that cutscene real fast. Oh, ah! <laughs> That's fine, I'll do it again. В общем-то сейчас, как я понимаю, появилась Battle Star категория. Она очень короткая, это, в общем-то, маленькое испытание, в котором мы должны пройти цикл руина руина но он в тиммейт тут вряд ли уйдет за на 5 минут Torch up and come back, but we're good because damage boosting is this. Very nice, very good. Thank you very much. <laughs> Oops. Ah! <laughs> I'll just do that. I can skip a support jump. I can skip that skip using that guy there. This is support jump, but support like, jump's so good. <laughs> it's really good. We're gonna do another support jump little skip here by doing just doing that. Oh, I didn't grab back in time, that's fine. I'll do that. <laughs> that's not safe. Gotta be a little safe there. It's wahooing. Do, 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 do. I feel like there's already been more wahoos in this level alone than the rest of the game. <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool little skip here too. It's a it's a little damage boost we're gonna do. To so go right over here. I knock at the checkpoint, so hopefully I don't mess this up. But yeah, you're supposed to do all that normally there. It's just you're supposed to hit, uh, jump on top of the five times. I need to get this. Hold on. <laughs> it's, uh, I need to use my brain. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> There we go. I'm gonna use the portrait right here because I can do that. <laughs> and we're good. Nice. Okay, <laughs> that part's hard. <laughs> God loves support jump. I love support jump. I'm officially a support jump fan after seeing this. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're almost done. We have just this last little section here. We почти закончили, кстати. And we are good to get through this door. Time. There it is. Okay, we get up here and Blue is rejected by Levi. She just doesn't no. know. So it's, it's, after all the effort building the tower, it's like, damn, okay. I have acknowledgments. <laughs> That's all right, though. It is what it is. She just she goes up here and she shows us a record player. That's, I don't, I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe it unlocks like the music for the game. I, I don't know. It's cool. 
Uh, but yeah, thank you all for watching Kalona. Thank you for watching me play this. I do a lot of experience in my channel. Usually the Kirby series these days, but mostly like as much as the animation. I try to be a bit of a on my stream. Uh, we're gonna play Phoenix Wright Ace Train for the first time ever when I get back from SGQ. I don't know if I'm like on Monday when I get back and play Kalona Wii because I got that as well from a story here recently. So yeah. If you wanna do that, follow me at Twitch at the view slash MR underscore Shasta. You know, wanna share anything on chat? On, on couch. Uh, whoops. <laughs> chat? <laughs> chat? Who's chat? Hi, chat. chat. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, sure. I mean, I'm Kavasco. I also stream sometimes, not as often as Shasta, but twitch.tv slash Kavasco. Same on Twitter. Maybe you follow me. Maybe you don't. I won't, I won't pressure you. And Nick ran like Metal Gear Solid as well as Ben. It was really cool. <laughs> Общем-то, неплохой ран. Такой вот разогревочный блок был, потому что сейчас только 6.30. Ну, не 6.30, обманываю, почти 7, 7 часов, 7 утра у ГДК. Поэтому самые интересные раны вот сейчас вот начнутся и будут продолжаться до вечера. Потому что что? Там будет ВИ... Сага, Фронтир, Финал Файт 3, Шинобу 3, Wild Guns. В общем-то, интересные игры, интересные. Ждем следующего комментатора. Three, two, one. 